This is Xavier Radish. Two years ago, everybody thought he was a she. He grew up in a part of Winnipeg, Manitoba called St. Vital, a middle-class neighborhood and a typical nuclear family. And wanting to be a boy seemed harmless at first. My parents bought me Barbies when I was about six, and I <laughs> sold them for dinosaurs and never thought anything of it, really. They tried to put dresses on me, and I'd always tear them off, and I'd just wear, like, shorts and T-shirts. Well, Xavier's best little friend growing up was our neighbor, Haley, next door. She's the same age. And uh, Carmen, the mum, would dress them up in, in different kinds of outfits. But uh, one day, Carmen took out her wedding dress, and Haley wore the wedding dress, but Xavier would not put the dress on. And so he ended up in a suit jacket and some oversized shoes, and they took a wedding picture. By 13, being treated like a girl became painful for Xavier, a pain that he didn't know how to stop. I realized that I don't care anymore what people think about me because this is going to make me happy and this is going to make my life better and my future bright, then it doesn't matter. I'm never going to see these people again probably after high school. So I'm glad that I changed that because if I didn't, I wouldn't have been able to get through it. Xavier also changed his hair and started to bind his chest. So this is my tri-top binder. It has two pieces of spandex here. This one is tighter. It binds my chest, so I just slip it on. I can show you it right now. Um, so it, it tightens around all the way. I just wear it like a shirt or like a tank top. And it tightens all the way around, and then you readjust so it doesn't <laughs> You know, so you flatten out, and then there you know, it's, it's, it's simple, but really uncomfortable. <laughs> Even though Xavier was starting to appear more male, he only told a few friends he wanted to transition. He didn't know how to tell his parents. How do you tell someone that you've lived with your whole life that, sorry, I'm a totally different gender, a totally different person than you thought I was? And it was hard for me because I didn't want to hurt them.